Hey, this is Matthew with Another World Terraria. Today, I'm going to do a tutorial on how I grow plants in deli containers. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a deli container of some sort. These ones I get locally at a place called Cash and Carry, but you can order similar ones online on Amazon. There's tall ones like this, and then there's also shorter, medium ones, and short ones for different types of plants. So this is going to be the one I'm going to use for the demo today. Next, you need something to drill a hole for ventilation. You can use a plastic drilling bit like I have here which is made for plexiglass or you can alternately use an exacto blade and I will show you how to cut holes in the lid if you're going to go that method. Next you're going to want substrate. In this case I'm going to use uh, sphagnum moss and I typically use that for most of my plants although you can use other things like soil, uh, gravel, lava rock and so forth depending on what plants you're growing. These next two things are optional, but I highly recommend them. That's leaf litter and springtails. Springtails are an insect which help keep the environment healthy because they eat rotting matter and uh, keep mold growth down. And the leaf litter just provides them somewhere to kind of hide and breed under, and they feed on it as well as it decays. Uh, if there's not too much mold, then that'll kind of keep them going. And I like these oak willow leaves because they're a lot smaller than most of the leaves that you can find. Step one is to drill holes for ventilation in your lid because this is sort of uh, not super strong material. I like to support that. So I'll just go in between my fingers carefully and I'll go pretty slow and carefully. Again, this is a bit that's made for drilling through plastic and plexiglass, so it's extremely sharp and pointy. I don't think that you will have very much luck with a typical drill bit that you would use for like drilling wood or anything like that. So I would try and get a plastic drill bit. Or alternatively, you can use the X-Acto knife, which I'm going to show you in the next method. And the amount of holes that you'll drill is going to vary depending on the plant species and how much humidity it likes and how much airflow. So I'm just going to drill a few holes here, like so. The next way you can go is with an X-Acto knife. And what you do is these lids that I have are shaped in such a way that if you put them down on the table in the same way that you'd be putting them on the container, this part in the middle is flat on the table. And then what I do is I take an X-Acto knife and I just cut a little square. And sometimes you have to go over it a couple times to make sure that it goes all the way through. You can just cut a little tiny square and then you can pop it out eventually. So, see I was able to cut a little square hole out. So you can just repeat that. You can go like however many you want, but try and keep them pretty small. And then you can do like multiple ones and then you can get a similar thing going as with the drill bit that I did. Next step is to plant the plant. So I've got my sphagnum moss here. Just gonna throw sphagnum in there. I don't use drainage uh, layers or anything because you really don't need them. You're just gonna keep the substrate evenly moist and you're not going to overwater it so there's not really any need to have a drainage layer or anything like that. Got my plant here. This is a Pilea species Ecuador. I'm just going to grab some more sphagnum, wrap it around, and then I'm just going to set the plant in where I want it. I have these giant tweezers that I got on Amazon. There, I got a couple different types that's good for like tamping stuff down like this because then the because the pointed end tends to hook into the sphagnum so you can use the flat end and then it doesn't grab it as much so you can just take you can drop some sphagnum in here and then you can tamp it down like so then I take just a just a few leaves and I break them up and I just put them around the outside of the plant in a couple spots. You don't need a lot. You're not trying to cover the substrate. You just want like a few 
so I just put a few leaves broken up around the edges and stuff just to provide a habitat for the springtails to live. Now we're gonna add the springtails in. This culture that I have here is basically just charcoal substrate with the springtails breeding in it and it has water about halfway up the, the charcoal. I can't really tilt it too much. Uh, I'll show you. Basically what you do is you tilt it and the water carries the springtails out and you pour them in and then you just put water back in uh, to the container and they just keep breeding in there and you feed them. You can just put in like pieces of vegetables. I have carrots and squash and stuff. You can see, hopefully, the springtails going crazy in there. There's a lot more of them than you can really tell. They're all in there in the charcoal. So anyway, you just dump them and it, they actually, the springtails float on the water. And it's okay if you get a couple pieces of charcoal in there. I just dump in like, I don't know, 50 springtails or 100, it doesn't really matter. They'll start breeding in here. All right, I'll just pop the lid on here and then I will place this onto one of my plant racks. Here's some of my plant racks here in the hallway. Got a bunch of different bins and deli containers of all kinds. Things are even stacked on top of each other depending on how much light they need or want. Uh, and I just adjust things and move them around. So I'm gonna stick this new plant right up here and then I'll just keep an eye on it and see how it responds to that amount of light. And I'll keep an eye on it for a while for mold and different things like that and make sure everything is good to go.